Hello and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I'm doing a remake of my moon bars and I'm going to be calling these I think night air or crisp night air or something because of the fragrance that I'm using which is sparkling citrus and snow is what it's called but it's just it's a really fantastic fragrance and it made me think of just a cold night air with a full moon and I love to do my full moon bars so for the base color the backdrop of the midnight is going to just be activated charcoal on the base of the soap but for my moon embeds let me show you my little setup here got some beans to kind of hold these PVC pipes and what I've done is I'll show you I got these little um, cutting boards. They're just uh, very thin cutting boards at Walmart. They came in a multi-pack um, and I cut them to size to fit into my little PVC molds and that way they unmold like a dream because PVC can be notorious for some people have unlocked the code on unmolding. I have not. This works for me. So I just cut these. They're super cheap and I just cut these little um, cutting boards in to fit and uh, I've got the bottoms all taped off and so I'll be pouring my moon embeds uh, today. I'll make that soap and then tomorrow, maybe one or two days later, I'm going to unmold these and we'll get the base with activated charcoal for our night sky and make our moon soap. So for the colors on my little moons, I'm going to use this Sahara Gold from Nurture Soap just a little. I'm not going to use the recommended amount. I'm going to go very light. I want it to have sort of a, a yellowy glow to it. And then for a wispy kind of, you know, the craters on the moon, I'm going to use a crimson red wine. And again, just a teeny bit. I just want the hue of the color to come through. So very muted. Um, and I'll just do it in the pot swirl. Then we'll pour in the moon molds. And that'll be the color for the embed. I'm going to get everything pulled together to make these moons and um, we'll come back and get to making soap. Also, if you enjoy watching my videos, please consider hitting the like button and subscribe and the bell for notifications. And I'm on Facebook and Instagram too. All right, we're back and ready to get going with our moon embeds. So in here I have my oils and butters all melted and cooled. And here, uh, I forgot to mention earlier, I'm using aloe vera juice as my liquid portion with Tussa Silk and sodium lactate. And so I'm going to hand stir in my lye solution. Um, and I didn't put any additives in the moon embed. I didn't put any oats or kale and clay in the moons. I will put it in the base, but I just wanted to keep these just soap with the silk. So they're still going to be great with the aloe vera and the silk. So I'm just going to hand stir this for emulsion and we'll split for our colors because um, I'm hoping to keep this pretty fluid while I pour because I want real wispy colors. All right, I'm back the next day to unmold my little moons here. So we'll just start pushing and pulling. There we go. And now, hopefully, if this is dry enough, yep, just peel that off and there's a moon embed. So we will, I'll cut that to size and get these washed up. Oh, 
All right, now that we've got um, my little moon bed end beds ready to go, these are my oils and butters, and I'm gonna go ahead and add all my additives and the activated charcoal in here because um, it's all gonna be one color for the night sky. So there go the colloidal oats. Here comes the kaolin clay. And again, this scoop is about uh, two tablespoons. So that's what I'm putting in here. And here comes my activated charcoal. Messy, glorious stuff. It's not just a beautiful colorant, it's so good for you. Makes a great bar of soap. I think I'll do just a little more here. There we go. But it's messy to work with. So worth it though. Alright, so I've got the fragrance, all the additives blended in here, and I've let them sit for a few minutes to sort of absorb and anchor in. And now I've got my aloe vera juice with tussa silk fibers and sodium lactate solution that we're going to just add right on in here. And want to get a nice um, sort of medium trace on this so that it will suspend the moon embeds and they don't uh, float down to the bottom. I want them suspended in the middle of the soap, so we'll go ahead and stick blend this till we get a nice trace going. All right, I got a nice trace going on. So get my molds over and these molds are from Essential Depot and they are fabulous so let's just pour a nice base layer in each of these molds to rest our moon embeds down on 